Hello, Sarah. Um, today I'd like to talk to you about the evolution of Frenchie. Awesome. Um, I can, yeah, it'll be a good way to show like how we go through a whole process of our, you know, design stuff. So, um, we don't just create, you know, this is the final product, which is a Frenchie can that we designed. But, from Vicra. Yeah, right? from yep. Vicra Distillery. Mm -hmm. And the box that they all come in. But here's a quick little overview of how we, how we did all that. So um, I worked very closely with Emily, the owner, and I did a bunch of different, we wanted a cute, but not too cute, kind of dog on the can, Francois. And so I did drawing after drawing, these are not very good ones, but drawing after drawing of all these different dogs, all different styles. And this was you actually taking like your yeah, pencil I mean, or pen or marker or whatever. Actual watercolor paint yep. or pencil, you know, trying different styles, different. I would draw actually, you know, at the table with my daughter as she's using <laughs> paints and do some kind of like messy ones and try out different. This was kind of what led to the final one, uh, that idea. Yes, our daughter. Yeah, our daughter. <laughs> Yeah. That anyway, looks like one yeah, Piper really helped you with. Yep. Totally different style, you know, trying all kinds of different things to find out. <laughs> Look at this. We got <laughs> a draw on the back of something else that we, you know, that, that turned out different style. Um, so, I, you know, this probably, I'm not going to show you all those, but we, we've got like, I saved them all here on this piece. There's a lot of different options that we went through. And finally, um, I put, I drew this one, it's painted with watercolor, and then after I was done with that, I went in digitally and refined the details so that on the can, that's the final dog, so things like the monocle and uh, a lot of detail in the sort of the snout and the eyes and bow tie and everything. Um, so that is the final one, but that's just the beginning of the design process. So now we have to put that on a can, come up with a brand around it. So we came up with like the polka dots, the different colors, the layouts. And so we're thinking about the can design, you know, how does it fit on there? We're taking measurements, we're doing printouts, wrap, you know, wrapping the can, see how they look. Um, this is like what we call the exploded uh, view of the box, that how it folds up and goes together. We'll print this, fold it up, see how it looks, feel it, look at it, you know, get a really good sense of how it, how you interact with it. Because mm -hmm. it's a, I don't know, one thing that I think um, people always forget when they're doing design work is it's going to be a real, right. a real thing. Yeah, so for you, enjoy. you really enjoy having really like tangible things as you're, as you're working on them. It's not just sitting in front of your computer. It's really like, feeling through the process of, of what that, you know, both when you're drawing and also when you're trying to create a like, physical mm -hmm. product, you're really, you know, I yeah. mean like here there's pencil marks on here so you know that you were really like yep. drawing it out to really feel yep. what that is like. Yeah, and even, you know, we might post stuff that has just really rough sketches but even that amount of sketching can give me the idea in my head of what I want it to feel like or what it's going to look like. And I mean, obviously the end result is that you, you know, when you go to the store and you look in the cooler and you see this box or you go somewhere and you see this can, you want to, that'll stand out to you. You want to pick it up and you'll actually get a sense that there was a lot of thought and time and care put into that piece so that you can enjoy a cocktail at 10.30 on a Friday. Cheers. Cheers.